What's up all my Ewoks, Tribbles, Droids, and Wookiees? It's Anna, also known as that Star Wars girl, and today it's going to be a kind of different video, kind of like Ethan's uh, classic videos, because I'm out of town and don't have my camera or anything set up. So uh, let's let's look at this tweet that's got everyone up in arms. So this is from a person named Meg Dow, uh, and it says, What female fans often struggle with most is feeling safe and comfortable enough to express their love for Star Wars in spaces that already exist for fans women shouldn't have to ask for permission to exist in this fandom well no shit sherlock and guess what we don't so this was my response speak for yourself because there's no way in hell you speak for all women what you're doing is marginalizing women uh saying we're w too weak to hold our own and we need to be sheltered slash coddled like children this is beyond degrading and moronic, and I, as a whammon, 100% disavow. And I do. So let's take a look at Meg. So Meg uh, posted this, and it's gotten a lot of traction, as you can see. Jesse, John, Az, we got Mecca. Everyone showed up and were like, what the fuck is this shit? Are you crazy? Hoes be crazy? What is this? What's going on? And look, actually, a majority of these people responding are women. And then we have Ichibaka here with this, and he did a whole article on his uh, blog. I would highly recommend checking that out. But um, let's go take a look at uh, th this lady. Let's go take a look at Meg and kind of get an understanding of where Meg is coming from. Okay, so here we have Meg's uh, Twitter page. So it says, Meg Dal is learning the violin. Well, good for you, good for learning the violin. Associate editor at this thing, founder of this thing, host of this thing, editor of this thing, contributor of this thing and that thing. Uh, Chicago, Illinois, she's got her little blog, and then uh, she's got her little feed about the, this whole project thing, and then we got, uh, this is why women don't speak up when they're hurt. Uh, yeah, well, hey, guess what? I spoke up when I was hurt. My whole entire YouTube channel is based... Oh, uh-oh, sorry about that. I clicked on something with this. My entire YouTube channel was me talking about how I was hurt. Was me talking about how Ryan Johnson fucked up Star Wars and destroyed Luke Skywalker. I made that video because I was hurt. And guess what? I spoke up. So don't say this is why women don't speak up. My entire channel is exists because I spoke up. Women are not afraid to speak up. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. You might be afraid, but um, I, I don't think you are because you're posting this shit on Twitter. Twitter is public. So let's look at this. Yes, I'm aware there's a video. No, I don't recommend watching it. And here come the DMs. Well, guess what? You can turn off the DMs. You don't have to have your DMs turned on. I have my DMs turned off so that people that, you know, don't like my opinions and crazy people don't message me crazy shit. That's why you turn that shit off and you only allow DMs for people you know. Okay, so let's let's go back and look at more of this. Uh, so got more of that. Is she retweeting? So let, let's take a look at the things that she's retweeting. Uh, please take care of yourself today. Here's another. So she has all of these tweets. Uh, and she's retweeting all of these people that are defending her and her project. Uh, she's not doing it. She's not speaking for herself. She did the one tweet, and then she starts retweeting everyone that agrees with her. Uh, this is, I, I, I don't know if she runs this account, but this is the Project Stardust account, which, uh, that, that's this whole thing. Project Stardust is for the, the safe space for women. And, uh, here we go. So then there's more. Laughing at Ichibaka. Why are you gonna laugh at Ichibaka? Well, I mean, he is funny sometimes, but uh, come on, uh, like that. Okay, so she's bringing attention. Doesn't leak the side or anything. And uh, here, here's the thing. So it, it's basically. They did this whole thing for this, and it's getting attention. Now, l let's let's look right here. Look at the numbers right here, and then let's look at the one right before that. I'd say that there's a big difference between these two numbers, and uh, I, I'm going to uh, go a little bit more into that on my theory. And, you know, let's just keep scrolling. Oh, the numbers are a bit different. This one she retweeted. That's not her. Okay. Hmm. Interesting how... Um, you know, the numbers are a bit different. And let, let me tell you, it's not always about the numbers, but in situations like this, uh, you know, I, there people are strategic about the way that they do things. And this was a very, 
very strategic thing and the way that they did it, the way that they worded it. And then uh, I'm going to show you something about Meg and uh, it's going to, you know, you're, you're going to have a better understanding of why that is. So this is Meg. Again, this, this is the girl that created everything. Uh, so she has a YouTube channel that she's been working on for a long time. As you can see, six months, one year, one year, uh, you know, two years ago. So she's been doing YouTube for a long time, four years ago. Jeez. So, um, but let's take a look at the numbers. Okay, that one is a little bit good as compared to the rest of them. Uh, let's see. So seven stuff for getting your article published. That's why it was doing good. So she's been talking and giving her opinions on things for a very, very long time. Look, nine years ago. Nine years. She's been doing this for almost a decade where uh, she she's giving her opinion, voicing uh, how she feels about things on her own platform for a very long time. Nine years was the oldest video. So I have a feeling that Meg doesn't uh, feel, you know, she's, she's not afraid to give her opinion on things. Obviously not. She's been doing it for nine years. So that that's interesting that on her Twitter, on her Twitter, she's saying, oh, this is why women don't speak up. This is why women uh, are, are afraid to talk or, you know, we we are too afraid to talk. And if we're hurting or, or about something going on in our lives. But um, I mean, you've had your platform for almost a decade now. You've been talking about how you feel for almost a decade. But now, again, look at the numbers here, and then look back at the numbers on uh, this tweet as compared to the tweet from the day before. So uh, I know what you're doing, and anyone that like has a presence online, or even people that are online and like just watching, we know what you're doing. You weren't getting attention the way that you were. You know, you're just doing you, giving your opinion and voicing, you know, A, B, and C about how you feel about things. So you purposely went out of your way to. create create an issue and use certain, you know, terminology and, you know, phrase things a certain way to piss people off because that's exactly what you did. And now you're finally getting the attention that you've been wanting. Uh, I'm assuming you've been wanting it for 10 years since that's how long you've been at it. And uh, it worked. It worked. You pissed a lot of people off. You got attention. You spent uh, the next, like, what, day uh, or, you know, the entire day complaining, playing the victim when over a create over a situation that you created nobody had this problem until you made it up and created an issue to cause you know to cause all of this uproar so that way you could get attention and you could get clout that's all this is guys that's all this is that's all that meg did that's all that this whole project stardust thing is about was it was people that weren't getting attention they decided to piss off a lot of people because they know anger gets clicks and uh th that's exactly what they did and they they were successful obviously it happened uh they're, they're getting the attention that they, that they want uh i i'm not necessarily sure if it's the you know the intended attention they want but they're getting attention attention was the only goal of this and they got it so so uh, that's all this is, guys. I, I'm not going to, I don't take any of this seriously. This is pretty dumb. But um, you know what? You guys do you with your Project Stardust. Uh, obviously, everything that you're complaining about, this is why women don't speak up. You've been speaking up for nine years. So, and I'm, I'm sure I'm much longer than that. So don't give me any of that. I'm not falling for this bullshit and you guys shouldn't either. So everyone, sorry about the format of this video. I hope you guys enjoy it though. And uh, if you're new here, oh, shoot, please take a minute uh, to uh, subscribe, hit like, ring the bell for notifications, make sure it's set to all. Uh, I am Anna. That Star Wars girl. Here we go. Here we go, Anna. That Star Wars girl. Thank you so much, everyone. And may the force be with you because we are really, really, really gonna need it. Bye, everyone.